What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stocko YouTube channel. We are doing a second video today. I got up real early in the morning to get that coverage out uh, to you with that nasty downgrade. So be sure to smash the like button. Let's try and get the video to a thousand likes and don't forget to drop a comment. I'm going to be commenting back to as many people as I can. You already saw in the title section of this video, the CEO of SoFi is loading up again. I've been following the stock for a while and I haven't really seen this, but the... Uh, he was able to uh, disclose his share buys, you know, midday. It usually comes out at, a, you know, after hours, you know, four o'clock. So he did this for us, you know, to soften the blow. So it looks like he was, you know, pretty ticked off. And, you know, we're going to be looking into his buys today. It was a pretty big buy. I cannot lie to you. So this just shows you that the management is behind us right now okay i also you know bought some uh sofi shares today so i want you guys to understand i'm not one of those youtubers that just makes videos for views and stuff like that i am invested in this stock i really like this stock i like the growth i like the shift uh from you know traditional banking to digital banking and you know that's why i'm buying it i haven't I, I've probably been to the bank you know maybe once in the past five years for something they forced me to come in to do so we're going to be getting into it. We'll do a little bit more uh, coverage on the, uh, you know, the downgrade today, how it played out. We'll look at the SoFi stock and stuff like that. Be sure to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. All right, guys, check it out. We can see the SoFi stock right now at 248. We got an hour until the close is down 5.2%. This stock did dip to about 11% at the bottom. I mean, that was a nasty blow, guys. I think the stock hit like... Uh, 447 or something like that we're at about 475 today uh, i just bought on the dip a couple times and you'll be seeing that in this video market cap right now 4.8 billion um under book value um we'll take a look into the what the uh, analyst said once again but check it out guys i mean we are getting this midday right now the ceo of sofi check this out 515 this is accurate this is today Probably happened, you know, just this morning. One hundred and eight thousand shares. That was a buy for. Uh, where's the total? Come on, ah, uh, the total. Okay, I think the total comes out. Let me just. I wanted to get an accurate total. Hang on, I'm gonna do it on my phone real quick. One hundred eight thousand times four sixty seven. Five hundred and four thousand. This was a half a million dollar buy. Bringing him to uh, 6.48 million shares, guys. Just to show you how many, you know, what the total is of his uh, SoFi shares right now at this level. We got to times that by 6.488 million, I believe. Guys, uh, Anthony Noto's shares are worth $30 million at this level. So imagine, you know, if he does get his bonuses, you know, he's going to be up to... You know, just when the SoFi stock is 20 bucks, you know, 120, 150 million dollars plus his bonuses. I mean, this guy's going to be uh, creeping towards, you know, what, half a billion dollars. You know, he's going to be close to almost a billionaire if this freaking stock goes to 30 bucks or so. So this guy is loading the boat on his shares. OK, we have seen hundreds and hundreds of companies dump the past what 18 months just dumping 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 he hasn't dumped once besides for you know the tax purposes to cover his you know shares he got and stuff like that this guy's been loading up for two years and this was a great buying opportunity guys i really hope you uh took advantage because you know this was you know some nasty shady stuff going on today now guys take a look at this this is bar charts i think this has something to do with why this analyst came out you have to understand guys this guy has to be working with some other other people you know this is for a profit okay you don't just drop stuff like this you know just for the fun of it okay you drop it for a profit a short uh, other investors shorting other investors that may want to get back into the stock and stuff like that or other things like you know you got citadel and options control options expirations guys look at the options this week it's just been insane forever okay it always happens it's a big month and then you have like three weeks off of low options guys we got 190,000 calls set to expire this Friday. And then you see, like, once again, it slows down for three weeks. See, 24,000, 14, that's not a lot. 125, that's a little bit. And then look, it does the same thing every time. 4,000, 1,000, it's just, it's just a repetitive cycle. And when you get these 
high call options. You know, there's high puts too still. You know, you just get a, a burnout on the stock. You know, the stock goes down or goes flat. You know, these stocks aren't ripping like they did in 2020, in the back end of 2020. So a lot of people are losing a lot of money on short-term options. Even if you buy out some long-term options, those still get burnt out too when your stock just sits at four, five, six dollars for a year. So um, I'm sticking to uh, uh, just stock right now. When the market bounces back, it'll bounce back. I know a lot of people love long-term options, you know. You know, you can make a nice, you know, 30, 40, 50 percent. You buy long term and, you know, sell on a nice pop and stuff like that. I get that a lot of day trading and stuff, but it's just a lot of risk because you got these guys coming out and just flatlining the stock, you know, for no reason at all. Just this guy, this analyst, remember, guys, he download he downgraded the stock two times within 10 days. I've never seen that in two years of watching SoFi. This is the first guy that has to have a double ego and adjust his price target from uh, five to two fifty out of nowhere. It's absolutely incredible. All right, guys, and this is my uh, SoFi Invest platform. Um, you know, I buy. I'm buying shares on SoFi. I haven't bought any shares on Robinhood in a long time. So be sure to take a look at the link in my comments section. If you deposit ten dollars into the SoFi Invest platform, they're gonna hook you up with twenty five dollars for free just as a bonus for hopping on their platform you can buy another you know six shares of sofi for free so be sure to take a look at that link and sign up for sofi invest but guys as you guys can see you know i loaded up about you know seventy five hundred dollars today um you know in the fours you know this is a steal okay this is how you lower your cost average when you've been buying for a long time i understand a lot of people hopped in two years ago hopped in one year ago six months ago some people just hopped in that's just market cycles that's how it works remember guys uh amazon i love to say this one because it went to a hundred dollars plus all the way back down to five so think about all the people that were cost averaging in between 105 dollars it happens if you want to stay in the stock and get a lower cost average you got to buy on nasty days like this and that's exactly what the sofi ceo did today and that's exactly what the smart sofi investors are doing right now take a look at this guy somebody posted this on my twitter this is like the uh, tip ranks i think somebody put this on mobile i've never looked at tip ranks on mobile this is pretty cool you got the last you know six analysts uh, 14 days, 14 days, 11, 7, 4. And look at this, guys. Everybody, 8, 8, 8, 8. 4 star, 3 star, 5 star, 5 star. And then this guy just comes out with a 250 price target with no stars. I can't believe this stock dropped 11% today, guys. I mean, that's what I'm trying to tell you. This was planned Friday. There's some big, nasty shorts in there that, you know, got this volume out to, you know, 10 media outlets probably had to do with citadel once again we go back to what i just said probably have to do with those options you know expiration and stuff trying to burn them up so you know they don't got to pay them out it's just a lot of nasty things going on in this market guys the best thing you can really do is just hold for the long term make sure you're investing off the company's you know fundamentals you know and i think sofa is going to turn a profit in the next you know couple of quarters and they will be like the first fintech to turn a profit, you know, no banks, you know, online and digital. That's what we're looking for, guys. The shift. Deposits are skyrocketing. I mean, they're FDIC insured up to two million. I mean, no one's really doing this. You're seeing everyone run from these banks and heading over to SoFi. I want to see a four billion dollar jump maybe in the back end of the year uh, per quarter for uh, uh, deposits. You know, that's going to be awesome. So a lot of good things to look for right now. Um be sure to drop a comment. Did you buy today? Are you going to be buying tomorrow? Uh, what is your guys, you know, uh, thesis on this, you know, big, nasty uh, short today or downgrade? It wasn't even a short. It, it just felt like it. If you made it to the end of the video, I want to say I really do appreciate it. I enjoyed doing this video for you. Guys, our SoFi CEO is behind us right now. This guy really sees something happening. And this could have to do with, you know, Galileo. This could have to do with the mortgage company that they just acquired. Uh, everything could snowball at once. We're already seeing amazing EBITDA growth. You know, I just did um, two videos ago. If you want to go check that one out, if you haven't seen it, I see $336 million of EBITDA this year. That is 100% growth from last year. And I continue to see, you know, 100% EBITDA growth every year. And guys, if we get this uh, profit in Q4, uh, what is the shorts going to say then? Okay. Oh, uh, the, the profits, they don't, they don't align. They're not going to, they're not sustainable. No guys, it's going to continue to snowball faster and faster. Uh, once again, um, I really enjoy doing this video for you, and I am behind this stock. I uh, cost average down today because I just you just can't beat the fours, guys. The fours is absolutely insane uh, valuation. You're getting under book value, you're getting one and a half time sales, crazy stuff like that. So be sure to drop a comment. 
Uh, be sure to smash the like button. Let's try and get this video a thousand likes. And I'm going to be doing uh, more and more videos for you, as you can see. Uh, have a great day.